Hello, welcome to my channel Judge All Nation. In this video Christian Prince will make understanding and education about Islam to all Muslims. Also Christian Prince educates Muslims that in the Lord Jesus there is truth and no other. Now let's take a look and see what Christian Prince will tell you by arguing with Muslims. Enjoy watching this video and God bless you. <laughs> all right. Hello, my friend. Hello. So, just the first point is, uh, I assume you speak Arabic very well, so you should know that Allah doesn't pray to Muhammad, uh, doesn't worship him. He, he does pray uh, to Muhammad, but he doesn't worship him. Do you know that? So why he prayed to Muhammad? Allah he prayed to who? To Muhammad. But he prayed to who? I don't get your question. Okay, if I pray, you see like in the Bible, the Messiah, he prayed to the Father, for he is a son. So when you pray, a pray is, an, is a supplication uh, or a conversation, uh, either between uh, two equal, or someone higher. So when Allah he prayed to Muhammad, he is making supplication to whom? Uh, what do you mean by supplication? A prayer is supplication. If I say, oh my God, oh God, make me, uh, protect me, I am making supplication, asking God for health. So when God, yes, he, because... yeah, when your God, he prayed to Muhammad, he is asking your Allah, he is asking other Allah, to do something to Muhammad? No, because let me tell you something. I know that you speak Arabic very well. Okay. That means you should know that the term Salat, which means praying, is not worshipping or asking somebody to help Muhammad. He is uh, saying the grace on him. He is putting peace on him. That's the meaning of Salat. And pray, of course, even if it, even in English, when you say pray, it doesn't mean worship or uh, or ask another god or another guy to to do something good or something bad on on Muhammad. He is just putting grace and peace on all right. him. All right, let us see if this is true or not. You Muslims, you come with this. You, you can go to the dictionary. No problem. I am the dictionary. We can go to the Quran right now. And we type the word Salah. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. When your God Allah, and He command you. When Allah, your God, He command you. And He says, وَأَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ How come yeah. you don't understand that? Is as saying, uh, saying the blessing. But you say, well, this is a praying. You don't say, you don't say this is mean uh, a blessing. Right away, you say this is about action you do of a praying so the word yeah, salah because, because of the contact th thank you but in the contact of the verse about Allah he didn't say uh, I am sending blessing he did not use the word blessing Arabic is a very rich language we have yes, a three I, I we, we, ha we have we have 300 words just for the name of the lion correct just for the lion yes, I am a okay so to, to describe an animal we have a 300 words can't Allah say do we have in Arabic the word the blessing? Do we have different word? It's not salah yes. for the blessing. So you, so you are basically okay. So we are basically saying why did Allah use the term pray as salah in Arabic instead of using putting grace or something else? Is that what you? Yeah, because there's there is words for that. This is salah meaning pray. Salah does not mean blessing. So now what you are saying to me, okay. your God, He is using a word confusing people about what he meant in the same time if I go with you if I will go with you okay uh, when you say that Allah he is sending the blessing to Muhammad who is sending blessing only Allah or other people they can yeah. send who who is the one who well, who will generate a blessing only Allah because let me tell you something hmm. because if uh, okay so if I say I will pray to God 
or I will pray to Muhammad uh -huh. because I am a creature. That means Allah is gonna put grace on Muhammad. But the 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 if if we turn it the other way, if Allah said uh, to to pray to Muhammad, uh -huh. it doesn't mean that because he is not like me. He is not a creature. He is a god. And that's why you gotta uh, you gotta uh, make a difference between me, a creature, and Allah, a God. All right. As long you speak Arabic, maybe you can make it easier for everybody. I have the yeah. verse. I have the verse in the screen, chapter thirty-three, verse number fifty-six. Can you read the Arabic and you translate? Yeah, but, but uh, I I don't know why I can't see your your, your streaming. Uh, you don't see my screen screen. No. I, I see the screen just loading. It's been a while now. I, I don't see anything. All right, you can open from your side if you don't mind. Chapter 33, verse number 56. It says, Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabiyya ayyuhal ladina amanu. All right, now translate for us. So, the God, Allah, and his angel pray to Muhammad. Oh, the people who believe in God pray to him Thank and uh, that's wonderful look what happened now I asked you a minute ago who is the one who sent the blessing you said to me only Allah it turned to be the verse saying that Allah and his angels not Allah alone yeah. so now we have two yeah. e two equal group one is Allah and the other one is the angels what they are doing according to you the word the prayer i'm going with you right now the word of prayer mean what giving blessing so in islam look like angels they can get, can bless you too and they are gods because only god can give a blessing and look what it says too oh believers do also bless him but is allah it already blessed muhammad then who did the rest so the holy statement do you see the name of the my title here i mean if I say, if I am God and I blessed you, who care about the rest asking for blessing? Already you are blessed. Did Allah bless Muhammad already or not? Yeah, because I think that's because uh, you you imagine the God like that. But no, Allah, He cares about, it's not who cares about them. He cares about them because He's a God, He's Allah. You are, you are not listening, my friend, my friend, my friend, you did not understand. Let me repeat again. I'm not talking about He cares for you or not. I said, if Allah already blessed you, Allah already blessed Muhammad, why the angels are needed and why the believers are needed? If Allah already blessed me, is that by kilo? It's like uh, if you ask if you ask for more, I will send I will send more kilos of a blessing like five hundred kilo more, and then you must then pray next day and I will send additional five hundred kilos of a blessing. If I am blessed, I'm blessed. There's no need for all of this. Go ahead. Muhammad, he is not the one who who needs the the to to people to pray to him. No, we pray to him because of respect to the prophets. We respect him. Mm. Okay. Okay, guys, so listen. Him, so, All right. So, so listen, we, listen we, carefully. It's not, okay, listen okay, carefully. Listen uh, carefully. So you are saying. So you are saying to me now, Allah is not sending the blessing no more. He is just respecting him. <laughs> you just say that. Either you are sending a blessing. So in the beginning, the word salah, prayer, became blessing. Five minutes after the word salah, which was a blessing a second ago, became respect. Become respect. Listen carefully. So now it's respect. So in order to cover up for the silly statement, you said this is respect. Let us go with you. So now Allah, he respected Muhammad. And you Muslims asking Allah to respect Muhammad. Why did Allah disrespect Muhammad? So if he is very well respected at the point Allah himself is saying respect Muhammad according to you why he need the Muslims to ask Allah to ask Allah Allah already he respected him so already Allah he blessed him Allah already made salah on him Allah already respected him and then Allah asking the angels please send the blessing and respect to Muhammad but already you did Okay as I told you before uh, it's not like uh, like Muhammad needs needs the blessing. It's we 
uh, tell him not, not. I will correct myself. I shouldn't use the term uh, pray. I should use the term bless because you know, a salat in Arabic has a variety of meanings. Has uh, it can mean bless, it can mean pray. So I will correct myself. So when we bless the prophet, we are not praying to him. Firstly, secondly. Let us stop uh, here. Said, Let us stop here. When you send the prayer no, or the can I, can I my sure, idea? sure, sure. But just a second, just a second, please. So when you send your prayer to Allah or the blessing you are talking about, does it go to Allah or goes to Muhammad? Uh, how is that go to? Go like in the the, the 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 supplication you just made, the statement you just made. Does it go to Allah or goes to Muhammad? The, the the this this prayer we we like uh, for example when I say peace be upon him I'm um, I'm showing respect it's not the way uh, it's not just uh, for example I'm praying to him or I am putting bliss on him in, in my name no I'm I'm showing my respect to the prophets and uh, so it's so it's not a, a, so it's not a real blessing it's not, so it's not a it's not a blessing. It's just respect, correct? There's no blessing in there. But Allah, He's the one who bless because I don't. Bless. Okay, so when you say I am sending salah on Muhammad to Allah, are you asking Allah to do something or you are asking nobody? We ask for blessing for the prophets. Thank you. So why you so why you said respect? You are asking. So don't switch the word blessing with respect. No, you are asking for blessing, not respect. Then now. As long you said you are asking Allah so when you say I am asking Allah do the prayer you make goes to Allah or go to Muhammad just let me finish my point at the please if you can don't interrupt me okay mm -hmm. so as I just said we don't pray for Allah we pray to Allah okay mm -hmm. we can't we can't bless Allah we are asking him out of respect to bless Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you get what I'm saying? I can I talk now, or you will say I'm interrupting you? No, go ahead. Okay, but you are saying we are asking Allah to bless Muhammad, but isn't it the verse says Allah bless Muhammad already? I mean, listen carefully. If I am hungry and I pray, somebody pray for me. Says God feed the christian prince but god already he fed the christian prince so why you are asking god the christian prince is not hungry no more god he, he so are they are we are we talking about a god who is his blessing expired so we need to keep asking allah for more blessing because the blessing he did yesterday is expired like bad food or the blessing of Allah will go forever, especially Muhammad is dead already. Are you not hearing what I'm saying, brother? I'm hearing, I'm hearing. Ooh, ooh, same time, same time, you, same time you avoided, you avoided my question, I said, if I now, God forbid, I pray to Allah, asking him to bless Muhammad, as you said, the prayer which I just made, goes to Allah or goes to Muhammad? I said, we, uh, ask Allah out of respect. This is another question. We ask him to okay, let us make it. Let us make it. Let us make it simple for you. If I wrote, is, my friend, my my friend, already. why you are why you are not listening? If he is blessed already, then this is all drama. All this drama is not needed. This is fabrication. Then, if he is already blessed, so why Allah is asking for you to ask him? Why, 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 what, how more blessing can receive? Is it by kilos? We go back to zero. What do you mean by more blessing? Is Muhammad will go to heaven or he need the blessing to go to heaven? Is, is Muhammad in trouble? Is Muhammad in trouble and you must Muslim trying to save him by begging Allah to bless him? Or he, or he is saved? Is he saved? Is he saved? Is he going to go to heaven for sure? Or because he is not sure, you Muslims keep asking Allah, please Allah, Please Allah, pray on Muhammad. Okay. So my friend, mm -hmm. but, uh, 
I say, he doesn't need that. He doesn't need to, to my, I am from Morocco and he will need my particular words to, to save him or to go to heaven. Hmm. He doesn't need that. He is blessed already. But we ask for more blessing because we love him. He changed our lives. And we can never <laughs> okay, you see now you want to now you want to give me what how he changed it. He's changed your life to worse. But let us go on. Let us focus. Focus with me. I don't know why you are avoiding my question. If you send a letter to Allah asking Allah to bless Muhammad, the letter will go to Allah or will go to Muhammad to read it. The letter. It's not like a letter or something. I am not saying it is a letter. I'm saying if it is like if it is. So now you send the prayer. You send the prayer. You send. You send the prayer, my friend. You are avoiding my question. I don't know why. If you send the prayer now, the prayer, the the pray, the Allah, right? Not to Muhammad. Yeah. If you send it to Muhammad, that will make Muhammad God, correct? Yeah. Thank you very much. But in the hadith, it says that your prophet he said that do prayer on me, for your prayer will be sent to me. So when you say, and everybody heard you a second ago, that if the prayer went to Muhammad, that means Muhammad is God. Here we go. This is your Muslim website, and this is your prophet, and this is authentic. Okay, my Re Read it. Here we go. How this is can be, and remember, it's you, not me, a second ago. Everybody is my witness. You said if the prayer went to Muhammad, that means Muhammad is God in Islam. Can you read? Bro, you, you, you have a misconception. It's you who it's say it. It's not a prayer. It is, it is, okay, it I is. It, you see, you see, my friend, my friend, I asked you about the blessing. You said, okay, we ask Allah blessing. I said to you, oh, where you send it? You keep playing with the word when you want to bless him, when you want to bless him. It doesn't matter. I asked you, this is prayer about the blessing. You send it to who? Do you send it to Muhammad or to Allah? You said to Allah. I said, is that, is that mean if you send it to Muhammad, that will make him God, right? You said, yes. So you agreed already. Everybody heard you. So now the prayer, as you see, your prophet, he says, in the, in, in the fri Friday is the best of the day. And do you see the word supplication? Do you see the word supplication? It's a prayer, not a blessing. Supplication to Allah, more often for me. For your supplication will be displayed to me, not to Allah. Okay, so you have a misconception. <laughs> Uh, what you told me right now is tahiyyat in, in in the prayer we see it but even though it's not me who, who's 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 gracing or or <laughs> blessing muhammad not yeah not yeah that. Uh -huh. it's 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 allah who's blessing him i know i know but i, I but a second ago i asked you a second ago i asked yeah. you the prayer will be sent to who to allah to muhammad you said to allah I said, why? Is that because if you send it to Muhammad, then that will make him God? You said, yes. So now your God is Muhammad. The, the supplication you made, the supplication you made is not going to Allah. It's going to Muhammad, as you see. No, my brother. Because, let me, let me show, clear up my, my, my Okay, uh, Muhammad uh, is dead. Muhammad is dead. How, they ask him here in the, in the hadith, how, how will our blessing, which is our prayer, which is not true blessing, first translation, how our prayer will be displayed to you when you decayed, your decayed body, you will be dead. Your body will be mixed with the earth. He said, Allah, he said, Allah forbid the earth from consuming the body of the prophet. So is your prophet, he is dead or alive in the grave now? Uh, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to play with, with words. Let me get my 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 point my point clear. Which prayer are you talking about? The Which same one we are talking about for the last twenty minutes, my friend. What's wrong with you? Yes. Uh, which prayer? I don't care. Your blessing, whatever you call it. 
So your prayer will go to Muhammad, and Muhammad is dead. And Muhammad, so is and, and Muhammad will hear it, and Muhammad will see it, and Muhammad will read it. So is Muhammad is dead yeah. in the grave? Do you Muslim believe that Muhammad is eternal? He never die, and he is alive, even when he's in the grave? Or you believe he is a human being, like everybody else, and he is dead, and he cannot read, and he cannot hear whatever happened in the world? Through angels. Hmm? I said through angels. He's dead. What through angels? This is saying. First of all, there's no angels there. Don't add things are not there. You know. Secondly, it says they they, they ask him. They ask him. They ask him. Look, look how your prophet. He have a. You know. I say, and I'm not insulting. By the way, I'm telling you my opinion. I believe your your prophet. He, let me tell you, he is a spirit. He has a spirit. The, the, the spirit. No, 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 no. Don't talk about the spirit because look what it says. Look what it says. He said that your body will be decay. He says Allah, He forbid the earth from consuming the bodies. So he's talking about the bodies. He never mentioned the word spirit. Don't go there. As you see, they ask him for the reason how you can, how you can. He didn't say my spirit. He is in the grave. He said the body of the prophet will not be consumed so he claimed that he is living with his body in the grave and he still he can hear and he still he can talk and he still he can receive and he can read because it said displayed displayed in islam when you die yeah yeah tell me you don't you don't see to exist you still have a spirit my friend okay you have a spirit did he say that your prayer will come to my spirit or it said talking to his body in his body as you see it says body body where is the word spirit why do you keep adding words they, they ask him how you can they ask him how my friend listen we can't translate the term in arabic to english you can you can no no don't don't no don't go there please you can you can what do you mean you cannot it says clear and this is your muslim translation they ask him what is the reason how you can receive the prayer when you are dead he said because my body will not be consumed but all of us we knew that when your prophet by the way died the sahaba they said let us bury your muhammad for he stink so here muhammad he lied again the muslim did not bury muhammad for three days three night hoping that he will come back like christ because he told them actually he the body of you see the body of the prophet will not be decayed so they did not bury him and Mecca is a very hot city. After three, Why are you uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just showing you additional lie. Muhammad he said, did his body stink? No, no, no. Did his body stink? Yes, he stink. Even Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas he said, itfunu sahibakum fa innahu yantum kama antum al bashar. Bury your friend. He stink like every human being. He stink. So Muhammad he lie. So prayer will not go to Muhammad because he is not God. And you said that. You said the prayer should go to Allah. Now Muhammad claiming to be God, and he now he claimed that he is alive yet he is dead, and now he claimed look how many lies in one in one hadith. He claimed that he is alive when he is dead, and he can hear and he can see and he can read. He claimed that his body will not decay. He claimed that the prayer of Muslims will come to him, and none of those is true. His body decay and he stink. The prayer he cannot hear it because he is dead, and the prayer supplication to him send it to him that he became God. So it's a lie. Okay. So <laughs> the problem is you are misunderstanding uh, this hadith. Ah, okay. Explain it to me. Go ahead, guys. I misunderstood. I mean, the text is so clear. Muhammad is not dead. He is in the grave. His body is preserved and he can hear. Here we go. He's gone. Bye bye. Bye bye. You guys, you said nobody can raise his hand. So he, how he was able to raise his hand? I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus No turning back, 
no turning back The cross before me The world